Hello and welcome to What's in This Week's Urban Times with me, Cathy Griffiths. And me, Fiona Scott. Front page news is the council's decision to drop proposals for the cluster school shake-up. But we've been hearing from parent groups who say they will be staying on high alert. Get your copy of this week's Open Times from all the usual shops and retail spots or subscribe to our page Turning Digital Edition online at www.obentimes.co.uk. Open Games was a winner, attracting hundreds of visitors and competitors to Mossfield Stadium. We've got lots of great photos from that and also from the high school's own games as well. Which plan was the overall winner? It's all in your Oban Times. Darmali Show celebrates its centenary this Saturday and it looks set to be a great day out. Also in this week's paper, there's a free copy of the latest edition of Holiday West Thailand, which has 100 pages dedicated to what to do, where to go, where to eat, sleep and stay if you're up on holiday. Work here or live here and fancy doing something different for a week, day or just a lazy afternoon's entertainment. Well, uh, that's got it all covered, Is I that, reckon. So that's... <laughs> save, save, a co- save a copy Ooh. for me, Cathy. I will, I will. Yeah, that... So that's going to be well worth a thumb through for some inspiration. <laughs> and amazingly, we print and distribute 80,000 copies of these throughout the year. So it's a great opportunity for businesses to get their name out there to visitors and locals alike. It's also available in the shops, petrol stations, B&Bs, hotels and online at www.holidaywesthighland.co.uk. Blimey, we, we need not be stuck for anything to do. It's all going to be in there. Um, over on Mull, though, it looks as though bird flu has struck, impacting on the island's white-tailed eagles. Better news over there, though, is that the island's ranger service has been saved for this year thanks to wonderful fundraisers. Um A delegation from Ling, Ling Island, went to the council's HQ on a mission to save their school. Did it work? Check out our story in this week's OT. Staying on school life, uh, parents at the mainland school of Kilninva Primary are urging passing motorists to slow down to keep their youngsters safe. Even though there's a little barrier that sort of goes between the narrow pavement where youngsters walk and that busy road, I went to have a chat with some of the parents and I've got to say, when you stood there on that pavement and those cars come speeding past, not all of them, but a heck of a lot of them, you can really feel things shudder. So I can completely understand uh, why parents are so concerned out of there. So out there. So um, whoever you are, wherever you are, we want to hear your stories, see your pictures. You can get in touch with us by giving us a call on 01631 568 Zero, zero. You can email us at editor at opentimes.co.uk and you can message us on Facebook as well. Fee, follow that. What sport do you have for us? <laughs> I've got a massive amount of sport this weekend, something a wee bit different. Oben, you might, you'll like this, Cathy. <laughs> Oben <laughs> Vet, Alice and Roger returned from the 2022 World Long Distance Aquabike Championships in Samarin, Slovakia last week. Now, when I first seen Aquabike, I had this picture of somebody riding underwater on their bike. <laughs> but uh, uh. <laughs> that that's not what it is. It's a, it's a mini triathlon, biathlon with uh, bike events and swimming. Hang so, on, are they still on the water, though? Are they still... Cycling the, on water. No, no, they swim first and then cy- oh. then go for their cycle. And this time she done a wee a wee run as well, which isn't usually involved, but that's what that was. So she's forty nine year old Allison and made her debut for Team GB at the X Bionic Sphere on the banks of the River Danube on Sunday, August the twenty first, as part of the Multi Sport World Championships. And she's been speaking to us at the Open Times about her adventure there. Um, Bob McIntyre was back in action at the Omega European Masters in Switzerland last weekend. And the local golfers also made a big impression on a Campbelltown youngster back home. There has been plenty team action going on as well. The Autumn Rugby Dalryada series kicked off in mid Argyll with many teams from Oban, Tinel, Mal, Lochaber, Lochilbed and Campbelltown all taking part. In football, Lochnell under 15s travelled to Glasgow for their first away league game of the season, while Oban Saints were in action in Wishaw. 
We also have all the news from around the shinty pitches and a health tip from Lorne Healthy Options lead exercise professional Rob Graham. You can read all about that in this week's sports section and online at www.obentimes.co.uk. Here we go, Cathy. Well, <laughs> a bumper, a bumper open times for you all to enjoy this week. So that's it from us. So goodbye from me, Cathy Griffith. And bye from me, Fiona Scott. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, hey.